Hi everyone, you're watching the lab demos at cloudsecuritymasterclass.com. Each of our labs have a supporting article at our website. Please check those out for a well-rounded learning experience. AWS Service Control Policy, or SCP, is a limiting AWS policy which limits the maximum permission for a particular AWS account or multiple AWS accounts onboarded to AWS organizations. Thus, it can be used to create security and compliance guardrails or preventative controls across multiple AWS accounts in an organization. SCPs are the fourth kind of AWS policies that we are introducing in this course, after IAM policies, resource policies, and permission boundaries. Take a look at those policies at cloudsecuritymasterclass.com. As you can see in this diagram, the other three policies, IAM, resource or permissions boundary are applicable to identities or resources within only a single AWS account. But SCPs can be applied to multiple AWS accounts using OUs or organizational units, which are organized and managed using AWS organizations. In this demo lab, we would create our very first SCP to restrict running of EC2 instances using third-party AWS AMIs or images and only allow the usage of AMIs from a particular AWS account. We will then test if the SCP is working as expected by trying to run an EC2 instance from AWS console. So let's start the demo by creating our very first SCP. I have logged in to the master or management AWS account and uh, we'll be in this demo, we'll be creating an SCP that will be applicable to all the OUs and all the accounts within this root OU. And the account with which you have logged in is the management account uh, right here. You can confirm the AWS account here ending with 6803, 6803. Uh, now for this lab, we are creating an SCP to act as security guardrails for all of these accounts within the root OU. So we'll be applying the SCP at the root level. And the specific job of the SCP would be to restrict the running of any EC2 instances from third-party images. Um, this is a policy that is used by most mature organizations today, whereby they want their developers to only use the images from a particular um, account, um, uh, which is created using all the security tools and configurations and reviewed by the operating system teams. Um, for the purposes of this demo, let's assume that account is uh, this uh, it's called secure AMI creation account. And um, so any EC2 instances um, uh, in any of these accounts should be allowed to run AMIs only created and owned by this particular account and anything else would be denied. That's the purpose of the SCP we're querying and um, we will create that SCP now. So I'm gonna go to the policies section and open this up in a new tab. Within policies, I'll go to service control policies. And if you see here, by default, AWS provides this full AWS access policy, which is the AWS manage policy. And if you remember the discussion about service control policies, these are limiting policies, or they set the maximum permission for an AWS account or OU. So this policy essentially uh, provides that by default, allow all access for all AWS accounts and even the root account. And if you happen to delete this policy, you would not have any access to any of your AWS accounts, um, whether it be the IAM user or the root account. So we'll go ahead and create policy. Give this a name of. In the policy statement, I will add my service as EC2 and the particular action as run instances. In the resource, I would have to specify the specific ARN for image, and I can keep it as star for the region because I want this to be applicable to all regions, and the image ID as star as well because I want it to be applicable to all the images. Click on add resource. Then we'll add a condition which will specify the EC2 owner or the, the AWS account, which is allowed to be specified as the creator of the AMIs. And 
go back to my organizations tab, copy the Airbus account for the secure EMI creation account, and put it here as standard. So with that, our policy statement is now complete. We are denying any EC2 run instances action on all of the resources um, from if the if the owner of the string, if the owner of the AMI does not match this particular Airbus account. So I'll click on create policy. With that, our policy is now created. It will show up in the service control policies uh, menu. And the only thing that we have left here to do is to go back to our organizations tab, click on root, go to policies. And if you see here, full Airbus access is currently enabled for root. We'll attach the new policy that we just created. And with that, our first SCP is created. We have applied that at a root level. Um, and by application of the root level, it will be automatically applied to all the AOUs and all the accounts within this root. So for example, if I go to Scratchpad A account, go to policies, I should see this policy here. And this says inherited from root. So I can't remove it at this level. If I have to remove it, you know, I have to go back to the root and remove it from there. So in order to verify if our SCP is working as expected, I'm going to try to log into one of the accounts within this root OU and try to create an easy to instance from a publicly available image. The account I'm going to log into is this account ending in 5404 and called Scratchpad A. So I'm now logged in to the Scratchpad A account ending in 5404. And uh, I'm in the Oregon region and I'm going to try to launch an EC2 instance. So I've given it a demo name. And the aim I have selected is Amazon Linux 2, which is publicly available image. Go and proceed without a key pair. Select an existing default security group and default PPC, since this is just a demo. And we're going to click on launch instance. Now you see a message like this where it says you are not authorized to perform this operation, and it gives an encoded um, authorization failure message. The way to decode this is to use a command line command called decode message. So I've already logged into my cloud shell here and the command is AWS STS decode authorization message and you can just paste in the encoded message here. And this gives out JSON output where you'll see the exact same SCP policy which we have created and it says deny um, principles, um, actions easy to run instances, and essentially the same as what we have put for SCP. Um, so the, we are not able to create EC2 instances because we are being restricted by the SCP that we have put in. So we will now take a look at the secure AMI creation account on which uh, has the AMI that will be uh, that we'll be using for this demo. So this account is ending in 1886, and I'm going to log into that to that now. So I'm logged in to the secure AMI creation account ending in 1886, and I'm in the EC2 section. I will go to AMIs and see that an AMI is already existing in this account, and this is a private AMI that's created by this account, and the owner is the same account here as 1886. Before this AMI can be used by other AWS accounts, we need to do one small step here by going to edit AMI permissions and sharing this account with that account. So I'm going to click on add account ID and add the AWS account ID for the Scratchpad A account, which should be using this AMI. So now this AMI is shared with the Scratchpad A account. And now we can go back to the Scratchpad A account and try to create an EC2 instance using this particular AMI. 
So I'm logged in to the Scratchpad A account, and I'm going to try to create an EC2 instance now using the same uh, EMI that uh, we just shared with this account. So I'm gonna go to Instances and Launch Instance. And in the Browse More AMIs, I'm gonna go to My AMIs and select Shared with me. Now nothing shows up here. And the reason is because AMIs are regional resources. So we have to be on the same region for which the AMI is created, which was uh, USD East one. So once I click here, I have to browse more AMIs again. And, and now we have that same image that we saw before. And you can confirm the owner is 1886. And I'm gonna select this. And we're gonna give this a name of demo C2. See the outer key pair, select the default security group and the default VPC, and click on launch. So this now succeeds, and uh, we are now able to run uh, EC2 instance. That is the reason behind it is because we're using the AMI, which is coming from an approved AWS account. So the ACP, so the SCP is working uh, well uh, with uh, by denying uh, creation of EC2 instances, which are using third-party images, but it's allowing the usage of EC2 uh, AMIs from a particular AWS account. So this is it for the lab walkthrough. Keep watching out for more videos and articles at cloudsecuritymasterclass.com.